is Serena Hamilton. We're gonna check our friend Robert Simons. Can you yeah. go back to Miami with us? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, his music is beautiful. Very, very nice. Took us right back to the Caribbean. Yeah. Now, what do you think about Bermuda? You know, we love Bermuda. I, I've been here four times. My wife's been here three times. And we just want to keep coming it's back. It's, a, it's a, such a beautiful, clean, colorful island. It's so peaceful and it's gorgeous. with Robert Simons hey. and we are on board a cruise boat here in Hamilton. This is actually yeah. my first time Marcia? on a cruise boat in Bermuda. Really? Yeah. Goodness. So, and I mean for my first time why not just go overboard with it and have you as the entertainment. It was spectacular. Everyone on the, on the cruise deck below was thoroughly entertained with your music. So is this a regular gig for you? Yeah. 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 Um, I do um, cruise board entertainment okay. as part of the cultural enrichment program uh, when they come here to Bermuda. Right. Right. You are an ambassador for us Bermudians. What type of music do you play to represent you know, the islands? And I heard a couple different flavors that you had in the repertoire just now. That's basically what I do. I mix it up. So I play like a lot of different genres right. because those things work in any, in any setting. You know, they're appealing. To, uh, to everybody, so it's a little bit for everybody. Right. You know, depending on what trip they're on, or depending on what trip I'm going to take you. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Take them on a journey. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, that's that's the whole thing. So it's not really a show as such. You know, it's not like really the, the Robert Simon show or anything like that. But it's like it's about you. Okay. Okay. So um, I kind of like I talk to your soul. Um, I will go in, and I, I never know what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't have a set list. Okay, I just don't plan anything because you don't know what kind of energy you're going to feel when you get up there, right? right yeah. So you go up there and you just look around and feel the room. It gives you an idea of what you want to play. You are a veteran, a world class steel pan player. I'm not just saying one of the Bermuda's best, I'm considering you one of the world's best. Well, I have been on the world stage record in Bermuda a couple times. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was in the uh, Edinburgh. And when I work for the cruise lines when I'm traveling, I represent the music. Now tell us about, you know, my father once said, you have people that play and people that entertain. Mm -hmm. You know, you pick your head up, you connect with the audience. I saw you do that. Yeah. Can you speak to that? You know, the sure. entertaining piece. Yeah. Sure, the entertaining part, man, is just engaging you. Uh, if you're just standing there or sitting there playing notes and not making eye contact, then you and you could be like playing really, really good stuff, but you're not connecting with it, right? Because a lot of it's, it's, it's a spiritual thing. Yeah. I had one time, a, uh, this happened twice actually. There was a person, a passenger came like, and asked me to play a song. So I said, okay, I played the song. <laughs> and halfway through the tune, I noticed they were crying. I said, well, that could be one or two things. I hate to think it was either really good or really bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So after the tune, right, um, they came up and thanked me in that. And they told me that this was. Um, the tune, the favorite tune of them and their spouse. Wow. And they were planning on taking that particular cruise, but the spouse passed away. Wow. They took the cruise anyway, so that the spouse would be with them in spirit. Wow. Did they get wow. Yeah. So for a young person, you know, um, 
not everyone plays a steel pan. If you play maybe another instrument or you are musically inclined, is, is this an easy instrument to maybe pick up? You know, we gotta keep this going. I'd encourage it if you wanna make a career out of playing music. But what I would also encourage would be for, um, for, for there to be venues that they would be able to make a living at doing it. So, um, and that, that's discouraging to a lot of aspiring um, uh, musicians and artists. Right. It's like, okay, fine, you put all this time in rehearsing it, and maybe we'll get this one little gig that doesn't pay much, mm -hmm. you know, because they say, oh, well, you get good exposure, right. but um, you want to make a living at it, right? right? Arts needs more support. Okay. okay? Uh, and for a uh, young person coming up who wanted to get into music as a living, I would say just don't give up. Right? It's it's not easy. It's not easy at all, man. But like if that's your passion, then that that's what gets you out of bed in the morning, man. You know, rather than doing something else, because a lot of people man, out there who are doing a gig just for the gig and they're not doing what they're feeling. So they're unhappy. Yeah. You dig? Yeah. So I mean not every day is gonna be a catching day. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, sometimes, man, like uh, you, you make that hole, man. The, the net is like pressed. How can people follow you? How can people follow you? Uh, just uh, 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 link up with me on, uh, on Facebook. On Facebook, because uh, I have a following there. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, LinkedIn. That's a, a corporate kind of network, uh, okay. which is actually quite good. Uh, you can follow me there. Okay. But um, if all that's been overwhelming, then you can just sort of Google Robert Simons right. and all of my links to all of my media uh, uh, comes up. All right, so follow Robert Simons, everyone on YouTube. You can Google him. He's on Twitter, he's on Facebook, he's on LinkedIn. There's no excuse not to find great music online from a man, Mr. Robert Simons. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, man. Thank you.